Now, the new research indicates that pregnant women vaccinated against the coronavirus are nearly twice as likely to get COVID-19 than those who aren't pregnant. The study is based on the medical records of nearly 14 million patients in the U.S. since coronavirus immunization became, became available. Obstetrics critical care specialist at Charlotte Maitreka Hospital, Dr. Shastra Bura, speaks to us now about this very issue. Good morning, doctor, and thank you very much for your time. It's been an interesting study to actually look through on those who get infected with COVID-19 after fully vaccinating. Now, it seems pregnant women are at a higher risk of breakthrough infection. Can you just expand on this? Uh, morning, Mufundo, and to the viewers. I think the study highlights again that pregnancy is such a vulnerable state and that patients who get COVID infection in pregnancy are at higher risk of severe disease. Um, what the study shows us is that vaccination is vitally important and that pregnant women need to be prioritized. And what we are trying to elicit as to whether pregnant women need their booster shot much sooner than the non-pregnant population. We knew that vaccination did not mean that patients would not be infected, but we knew that they wouldn't have severe disease. Out of the 110,000 women that we uh, uh, reviewed in the 14 million cases that we studied, which made about 0.8% of the population group, we do know that infection was right, but we do not know how severe disease was, which is also reassuring for patients um, who were vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So I think the whole... Yes, Mufundo? So then what type of complications, though, if we had to get into the complications, could a pregnant woman experience if they get COVID during this period after being vaccinated? So it would be milder disease than they would have had if they were unvaccinated. Um, so the general syndrome that we've been speaking of, the sore throat, the fever, the body malaise, the cough. And uh, what the vaccine has done, it's prevented patients who are pregnant from actually needing significant supplemental oxygen and has mitigated against ICU admissions, which has been really reassuring. I think what we need to intervene with further studies, the general population is getting booster doses after three months, three to four months, once they've received their initial dose. And so what we need to entertain is where the pregnant women who are still at risk of contracting the virus need to get their booster doses much sooner than the rest of us. Mm, mm, mm. And then another question, though, but I, I see that you're more persuaded to say, nevertheless, it's still important to vaccinate because one would then be sitting at home and thinking, then, is it to my benefit if I am pregnant to vaccinate or not because we're vulnerable? But it sounds like you're saying, nevertheless, it's important to vaccinate. I think it's vitally important to vaccinate. Uh, there was previously presented on ENCA and a South African-based study in our setting of COVID pregnant patients that were infected show close to a third of them being admitted into ICUs and having a very high case fatality rate. So there's also new evidence in the same line of the study that you're speaking about that comes from Washington, where they've also found antibodies that have been transferred to the newborn baby via the umbilical cord blood, via breast milk, that is making these children have a higher immunity to the virus up until six months, um, you know, as they grow. So I think that vaccination is vitally important. And I think that every new evidence needs to be looked in in terms on, uh, of the light in the message it's trying to send across. And I don't feel that this uh, should deter anyone from getting a vaccine. If anything, we need to be more vigilant in terms of how often we vaccinate pregnant patients for the benefit of themselves and their babies. Mm. So, Doctor, when or how soon can there be a position on whether to perhaps administer the booster shots a bit earlier for pregnant women? Because some could be watching right now and thinking, I want to go to my doctor and immediately get that booster, is as opposed to waiting the longer period that everybody else would have waited. So I think for a long time we wanted to advocate as the obstetric society to make sure that pregnant women were the vulnerable group that needed to be prioritized in terms of vaccination. And it is starting to happen. We have sites now in the hospital where we can take patients from our antenatal units through to get vaccinated. We need to follow national guidelines because that is also set on international uh, evidence base. And I think that even the Washington study was very really uncertain and they are looking at more research in terms of 
eliciting whether there is a need to bring the uh, booster shots closer for pregnant women. So I think there is high vigilance in terms of trying to find the answers. And hopefully the CDC, as well as all the research units that have invested so much of time over these last two to three years into COVID will have answers for us soon. All right, Doctor, thank you very much for your insights. That was critical care specialist at Charlotte Matrega Hospital, Dr. Shastra Bura.